Students, related to the concept of block coding is this concept of Hamming distance. Of students, Hamming distance between two words of the same size is the number of differences that is there between the corresponding bits of these two words. Students, if we are comparing two words X and Y, then we represent this Hamming distance by an italic D and then within brackets X comma Y. Students, this Hamming distance, the concept of this Hamming distance is very important in error detection because the Hamming distance between the two words, that is actually telling us how many bits are corrupted between the two words that we are comparing. How do we find this Hamming distance? We actually do an exclusive OR operation between the two code words that we are given. And we'll see, for example, in this case, we have got uh, two pairs of words. The first one is D, this is our X, and this is our Y. And in the first case, what we need to find is, we need to find the Hamming distance X, Y, which is equal to, in this case, the Hamming distance between 0, 0, 0, and 0, 1, 1. Students, you can see that the corresponding bits, this is the first difference, bit number 2. Then you've got the third difference here. So the Hamming distance um, between these two words is equal to 2. Second example, the students, in this particular case, we need to once again find out the Hamming distance between these two. So let's check 10101. The second code word is 1111, and we have got 0. So students, in this particular case, is there a difference between first position of the bit? No, there is none. Is there a difference in the second one? Yes, it is. So 1. Then you've got the third position. No change. You've got the fourth position. There is a change, so we've got two. And we've got a third position, there is a change. So Hamming distance in this particular case is three. Now, students, I told you that the reason this Hamming distance is important is because the Hamming distance between the sent and the received code word, that tells us how many bits are corrupted. If the Hamming distance is not equal to zero, between the sent and the received code word, if it is not equal to zero, that tells us that we have got uh, our data is corrupted and we have an error. So this Hamming distance, it, this needs to be ultimately zero. Of students, how we find this out is we use the exclusive OR operation. We also represent this by, a, by this plus sign or positive sign within circles, and this is the exact operation that we have done. So what we, we have essentially done is we have done an exclusive OR between, in the first example, we have done an exclusive OR between 000 and 011, and, and after that we have just counted the number of ones in the result. So whatever, whatever the result that comes in, we just count the count number of ones in the result and that will give you the Hamming distance in this particular example. This was uh, 